I'm behind you guys. I'm I don't coming. really have a queer shot. Dead. Nice. Dead? Okay, where's the next ping we're looking at? Right. Hit. Dead. The, uh, okay. Jesus Christ, <laughs> home. And then last one to the tower. Oh, hit him. Dead. All right. What are you shooting him with? Centennial. Dear Lord. And now I'm going to tell you why this gun sucks. The Winfield 1876 Centennial is a three slot medium ammo repeating rifle that costs $157. It has one other variant, the Centennial Sniper, but we will get to that later. First, I just need to say, it feels like whoever designed this gun was either afraid of it or angry at it. The type of relationship my cat has with my vacuum. The biggest problem for the Centennial is that it doesn't exist in a bubble. The Centennial is a repeating rifle, which means it competes with the Winfield 1873 compact weapons. It is also a semi-quick firing medium ammo weapon with an FMJ option which means it competes with the Vetterly and all of its variants. The Centennial Sniper is a medium ammo gun with a scope which means it competes with the Springfield Sniper. That's more competition than a cheerleading movie. Never saw myself making this meme, but just try to tell me it doesn't fit. Okay, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but just keep that in mind while we talk about the stats. The Centennial does 123 damage to the chest within 20 meters and has an effective headshot range of 180 meters. Its main selling point, statistically speaking, is its impressive 600 meter per second muzzle velocity, which is perfect for all the people that can't aim. Not me though. I mean, I can aim. I've never missed an easy shot in my life. How'd I miss that? One dead. The Centennial is a simple gun in that it has only one custom ammunition type, FMJ. Anybody that says differently is whispering poison in your ear. FMJ reduces the muzzle velocity to a comfortable 480 meters per second and extends the weapon's penetration and damage at range, delaying the damage drop off to 40 meters. As someone who enjoys accounting for the slower velocity, I recommend FMJ on both variants, the base version and the sniper. Penetration kills are lethal and satisfying and the FMJ at range can help with those long distance body shots. However, there are some people that don't like the reduced velocity on the sniper, so choose what feels right for you. The Centennial Sniper is a bit of an oddity. It's the two kids in a trench coat of Hunt. Well, maybe the second one. I'm not saying it's a conspiracy, but you should subscribe to unspool this thread. If you are like me, when you think of a sniper, you think of a hard-hitting, slow-firing rifle tuned to the very heartbeat of the shooter. And sometimes the Centennial does feel like that a lethal extension of my arm to smite those who would oppose me. Dead. Oh, nice. Good shot. Other one's over here. Okay. Moving to get a decent angle. Tagged. Dead. Okay. Wow. But then I get into situations where I wonder if the Centennial is shooting those laughably weak poison rounds, which is impossible because it doesn't have those. Dex. Dex. Pretty sure that's. Nope. Hey, church site? 
So, unfortunately for the Centennial, mixed results are only interesting in cases like super fecundation. There's your word of the week, go find a video of that. And speaking of super fecundation, we need to talk about the competition. The strengths of the Centennial are the 600 meter per second muzzle velocity, the inclusion of FMJ, and the fact that iron repeater and levering are options for rapid fire. Levering is basically useless unless you are about to die anyway, but sure, levering is an option. And now, like a conversation with my sister about her ex, let's talk about its weaknesses. The Centennial has the least amount of ammo of all the medium ammo rifles. It holds a maximum of 22 bullets, the Springfield holds 25, and the Vetterly, which also has FMJ, holds 26. The Centennial only does 123 damage to the chest before its drop off at range. The Springfield does 132 and the Vetterly 130. That means it is the only medium rifle that can't down a player missing a small health bar with a shot to the chest within 20 meters. And of course, FMJ can help it stay competitive, but as mentioned, the Vetterly also has FMJ and Iron Sharpshooter for rapid fire options. Not to mention that the Centennial is worse for levering than the compact Winfields and still has all the weaknesses of medium ammo, where the damage drop off starts past 20 meters. I know that's a lot of information, so let's just review. The Centennial has the least ammo, does the worst damage for medium ammo rifles, has the worst range without FMJ, has the worst range with FMJ, and it is medium ammo, which already kind of sucks anyway. So why would you ever choose- What's that? My sister is dating her ex again? Okay, ignore everything I just said. Look, I know. Every time I start hating on a gun, I come back with my hat in my hand, and I say, but I actually enjoy this thing. Well, you're not my mother, so I won't disappoint you, and completely unrelated, I don't even want to study law, so whatever. Okay, there are reasons I enjoy the Centennial. The Centennial sounds like it hits like a truck. It doesn't, but it sounds like it, so that's cool. The levering mechanism is charming, and with Iron Repeater, you can really put some rounds down range. I don't care how fast the bullets go, honestly, but some of you might, so there's that too. My point is, there are reasons this gun has a cult following, and while I won't pledge to drink your Kool-Aid, I can at least help you pick what snacks to serve with it. The unfortunate truth is the Centennial doesn't have enough ammo for its best use case, shooting everything that moves. So you are going to need more ammo. If you plan to take the Centennial with FMJ, I highly recommend the Scottfield Spitfire. It can make up for the clunkiness of the Centennial and save you in a pinch. If you are fanning, maybe the Scottfield Swift, and if you don't have FMJ for some reason, the PAX is all around reliable. So in short, the Centennial is fine for headshots, fine for team fights, and fine for sniping. It's not the best at anything and only the worst at some things. And while I personally don't smoke the Calamity Jane, I do acknowledge it's fun to play with your lever. Ah. Hey, maybe you've noticed some other games popping up on the channel, and that is thanks to my patrons, which you can see on screen. I want to give a special shout out to Dave for Primark, Duck Run Amuck, Complutter Lukey, if I said that wrong, I'm sorry, Longshot, Maya, Sir Clone, and Bayou Bussy Pounder. Thanks to their support, I can make videos about other things aside from guns and my dysfunctional family. Be sure to check out that patron link in the description for those interesting perks and exclusive videos.